Jesus was a Jew. He fulfilled the prophecies written by the Jews. Were it not for the Jews, there would be no Jesus. Christians no longer have an excuse for going, a child will be born. He was born. Christians don't have homos and foreign retards following little kids around. A child will be born. He will save us from the the morons waiting for a child to be born. Christians have democracy because it's Greek. The existence of a church implies separation from the state. Islam recognizes no distinction between church and state, thereby putting it back in the hands of the rabble, the unwashed masses. It's it's terrorism. It's cruel and unusual. Little kids, it's stupid peasants following them around. What do you stupid peasants do at the end of the day? You go home, I watched a little kid grow up all day. And then when you're not looking, terrible things because you're an idiot. Because now it's your fault. Once you waste an entire day of taxpayer money on some oblivious kid, now that we paid for that, so let me get this straight. You don't get in trouble and you probably don't know about it. That's a blank check. These Muslims are terrorists, but these ones are different. Yeah, these ones founded a kingdom five years after the fall of the Ottoman Empire. Washington's best friend. Couldn't live without the Ottoman Empire for five years. FBI calling the CIA the Reich. Talking about the KKK is our greatest enemy. Come to find out they're working directly for Saudi Arabia. I got on my magic carpet. I rubbed my magic lamp. I said, open sesame. They were like, Allahu Akbar. Spilled the beans. Islam recognizes no distinction between church and state. Church is obviously separate from state, or we wouldn't have a word for it. Religion is a search for universal and eternal truth. God has no need of religion because he is omnipotent and eternal. He already knows the truth, yet not looking forward to an afterlife so, if I mistook you for an Islamic state, well, excuse me, muckety mucks with high tech harassing and persecuting people where your tax dollars are going, oh no, we might default on the deficit and won't be able to afford to rob these people, waste everybody's goddamn time. The individual FBI agents who I have met did not impress me as slackers or traitors. September 11, 2001, on the other hand, some alleged FBI agents were allegedly walking down the street three blocks away from the incident when, lo and behold, what, is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's a passport. It's a, it's a smoking, burning passport fluttering down from the heaven. And they catch, clutch it out of the, out of the air, put it out. So, oh, this must have exploded out of the crap hatch of one of those 757s. I'm just picturing a conversation with the FBI's new owners. Do you know where we could get a Saudi passport? <laughs> Do I know? If the Saudis can afford to buy and sell the FBI, how come we can't afford Washington? Never occurred to our theological scholars that it might be cheaper not to take money from the Ottoman Empire? When flat earth comes to the civilized world, we call that the Reich. I don't know if that's the technical definition, just pattern analysis. Which brings us to the Protestants. If Protestantism was a real religion, wouldn't that make President Joe Biden your pope? Right, so your religion is, it's wrong. It's the good news, and it sucks. See, we have the throne of Peter, and now we're free to have these discussions. I'm not a heretic for tolerating this abomination. See, there was a Protestant king in America. He had to leave in a, a hurry. His insurance wasn't going to cover... Uh, I wish him all the best. I've been trying to avoid saying his name until the zombie ap apocalypse gets cleared up, like your pet zombie apocalypse. But he left. You are now the exclusive property of King Solomon bin Abdulaziz. 2016. You're an Islamic state. King Solomon, your majesty, are you aware that you own a 
child molesting biological weapon in the West. Majesty. I can choose whether or not I want to go to church. The government does not get to choose whether or not the government. Your foolhardy interpretation of democracy is wrong. First, do no harm or you're not a doctor. Your opinion doesn't even matter. You're not eligible. Bankers, I know you don't, you have no religion, but the, our media needs to stop taking money from these people. mfrodeo.blogspot.com. You like the currency, yes?